guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's Tuesday, April 17th, and I'm going to pick up where I left off the other day about um, the money back guarantee wedding where um, y'all know that I had met this uh, John L. Sullivan uh, when I worked for W.T. Grants, and we fell in love, and um, little Scott and I had gotten a divorce in June of 1971, and John and his wife had gotten a divorce. Um, they had been separated for probably eight months, but uh, it took a little longer for his divorce to become final. So his divorce came through around September 23rd of 1971. So on September the 26th is when he came from Freeport, Texas to Lumberton to get me and, and for us to get married. So after the meeting, the money back guaranteed wedding meeting with my family, which did not go over well at all, uh, I, I was so upset and so angry and just embarrassed and humiliated that my family would have the gall to ask my husband to be, to pay them for my wedding to little Scotty. I mean, who does that? So anyway, we um we just let let all that go because we wanted to enjoy our marriage. So um in Mississippi, you had to get a blood test and then you had to wait. I think it was thirty days to get a marriage license. But in Alabama, they didn't have those rules. So um a lot of people who in Mississippi and in that area who eloped, they would just go across the state line into Alabama and get married. So John and I had planned to go to Livingston, Alabama and get our marriage license and our blood tests and get married on uh, September 27th. Of course, um, Dorothy wanted to go with us. Any Anytime she had a chance to go anywhere, you know, she would wanted to tag along. And so we figured we might have to have a witness anyway, so we didn't mind her going. So we got up um, that morning, I think it was a Thursday morning, September 27th, 1971. So we got up and drove to Livingston, Alabama and got our blood tests and got our marriage license and then we went to the courthouse and we were married by a Justice of the Peace. And um, after the, the marriage ceremony, uh, we went and had lunch and uh, there was a little Hallmark store there by the cafe. Well, Mother, you know, she did offer to buy us a little gift or something for our wedding. So we went in there, and um, this is what Mother bought me. It's a little wooden recipe box with little strawberries painted on the front. And um, I still have the, the recipe cards in here from way back then where I had written cinnamon swirl cake, uh, one, two, three, four cake. <laughs> so this recipe box is 47 years old. It stood the test of time. <laughs> it lasted longer than the marriage to John L. Sullivan did. But um, I was married to him for 19 years, and um, he is the father of my three children. Uh, and he passed away about four years ago. Um, it was sad. It, it was real sad, and it did hurt me because I, I really did love him. So anyway, we brought Dort back to Lumberton, and then we went to Freeport, Texas, and that's where he was working, and he had an apartment there and everything. And um, this is our wedding picture. There's John L. Sullivan all looking dapper in his suit and everything. And that's me. I just wore a simple dress, and I had started wearing my hair parted in the middle and, and real long back then. I don't look too happy in that picture, but I was very happy. And uh, this is what it looks like in Freeport, Texas. Uh, John had taken this picture one morning, and he wrote on the back, uh, Sunrise. It was real pretty in color, darling. The waves are always rough, so they surf a lot here. He had sent me that picture uh, while he was living there and, and before we got married. So we went on back, and um, this is the apartment complex where we lived and that old, that's the front end, I think, of that old Mercury that, that he had driven. And uh, this is me at the beach one day in my black bikini. 
Oh, I wish I was still that size, don't we all? And this is a picture of John at the beach. And we had a Siamese cat, and this is our little little kitten in the tree. I don't remember the cat's name. I wish I could. But anyway, we, um, you know, we went to Freeport, Texas, and I loved living there. Um, they had a lot of fresh seafood. I mean, they had huge oysters, and the shrimp from there was humongous. I mean, three shrimp butterflied, you know, were just huge, and, and you could fry them, and Three or four shrimp was plenty for a meal. But, um, you know, we just went to Texas and, and started our lives together. And, and we were so happy and so in love. And it was very, very good for Glenda Merle to get out of the state of Mississippi and, and get away from little Scott and all that mess and my family. Oh, it was such a relief. So thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoy my little autobiography. <laughs> And uh, please just leave me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.